So I went for a fly this morning with two of, two of my bugs, the, the newer red one, and uh, the black one that's quite a bit older. And I was checking out a couple of things with the, uh, the black one. They've both got TXO3, Eshin TXO3 uh, cameras in them. Uh, this one I've broken off the um, antenna and I just had a single wire. And I finally got round to putting on a proper uh, um, antenna from Ball Clash, a spare one that came with Ball Clash camera that's properly soldered on so it's got an earth and a positive connection and that seems to give me um, better reception. So that was one thing I was testing on the black one. The red one it still has a, um, a TXO3 with the uh, cloverleaf intact. I'm starting to get uh, patterns with, with the light. I know when I was flying over the cliffs, so I'm not sure whether it's on the way out or not. So I was interested with that one to compare, compare the two in terms of the camera. And the final thing I was looking at was batteries. Um, and what I found out that this one, even though it still says it's over 8 volts, 8.12 or whatever, um, it just runs out of grunt and the, I get a powered descent. But the, uh, the newer one, the Zop Power, that seems to be fine. Okay. That seems to give me a full flight. So, always learning things. So this was the first flight when we went out in the field. And I'm checking out the, uh, the TXO3 with its um, new antenna, solar on, and also the black battery, which I'm, I'm about to find out, although it indicated it was fully charged. I got a very short flight, and you hear it powering down behind the tree. About now. So I lost video contact behind the tree anyway, but uh, I could feel it going down. This next flight is with the uh, the white Zop battery, um, 2.2 versus 1800 milliamp hours on the red bugs, and this one went fine. Again, just comparing the video on the TXO3, this is the TXO3 with the um, the cloverleaf antenna on it. Um, again, I'm still getting a pattern in the sky. I seem to get it with both of them. So I don't know whether this is something new or just something I hadn't really noticed because I can see the land right, I can see where I'm going to fly. It's just a bit disconcerting. So this turns into a longer flight. Um, I've got extra on it, and because it's reasonably still, I'm running at uh, the minimum position to damp down um, turns. That's, that's your pitch. The only thing I haven't damped down is throttle. So the idea is for cinematic flights, I just want to be able to hold my line and then when I move offline to do it smoothly. So I suppose I'm treating it quite a bit like a plane. As you notice on this field after a long dry summer the rains finally come and uh, immediately all it takes is a couple of good uh, soakings and the native grass has just come through. I lost the video uh, briefly behind the tree there. So just a gentle fly around the park. Also, I've got a clear, another clear piece of plastic on in front of the lens of the, um, the Y1 light camera, 
which has got scratches on one side. In fact, I'll put the uh, image from the TX03 up on the side where the scratches are to sort of uh, minimise the appearance. And I hit the tree. I tried to turn around to back out, but I was still going straight ahead. I, I should have veered off slightly to one side. So here's the walk of shame to uh, pick it up. But the beep is great. There's never any worry about exactly where a crash squad is these days with uh, both bugs kitted up with those uh, El Chupo beepers. Only problem with them is if you fly in uh, inhabited areas, uh, people tend to come out of the houses and have a look, look in the sky to see what's going on. So uh, the answer is not to use them if I'm too close to houses. I mainly need them in, if I'm out in the stick somewhere or it's more likely to go down in trees or shrubs. So that's retrieving it. The uh, Y1 light just bounced off and away and, and kept running. So it's nicely insulated in that rubber sleeve. And this is the final flight of the day. This time it's just the uh, the black, the old black, black Bugs 3 uh, with no Y1 underneath it. So all we've got is the ground camera, the SQ12 on the observer's hat and the TX03 on the nose. I noticed straight away as it took off there seemed to be a bit of vibration and I can see that in the video. So I'm not sure what that's about because everything seems to be attached but it seems to be loose bell housings. I'll check that out a bit more. But the point of this flight was to use the last of the power on the uh, white ZAP battery just to make sure that in fact it was that the black bug three battery was a problem at the end of life rather than there was anything strange about the, uh, the black bug three. So the, the bug three flew, flew fine. So I came home and I ordered a couple more um, 2200 milliamp hour batteries to uh, replenish things. So just flying up and down the field, we set the timer for two minutes because I didn't think there was much time left on the battery. And I think by the end of the flight we uh, were closer to four minutes. So uh, I didn't do anything too adventurous or go too far away because I didn't expect the flight to yeah, last long. Pinpointed bad battery. And that's uh, it's my observer pointing out that we've established clean problems of bad, bad battery, not a bad bugs. Three. Again, similar pattern in the sky with the clover leaf. Well, that's what I first saw with the clover leaf. And with the whip antenna correctly soldered onto the uh, the other TX03, I seem to get something similar. That's two minutes. Perhaps not quite as bad as this. The thing is with the TX03 all in one they have a good range and they're far cheaper than alternatives such as um, Cadex or Fox Fox or other well, things like that. Three or four days of good clear skies, we're clouding over, there's a front coming in. In fact, it's supposed to be raining like the north. So this is probably the last chance to get out there, try a few things out, run down the batteries. And the other thing, I'm waiting for a replacement uh, camera, a new Y1, and also a, a new lens, a new existing one, before we get back to uh, cinematic flying. And also waiting, of course, for replacement sensor for the Canix um, turtle camera so I can get going with my, uh, my little whoop, see whoop. It's losing power. Yep. So that's it, we run the battery down and it's sort of powered down. So, how long we go for? Well, the two minutes was up a while back. Yeah. Is it still reading? No, because he, when oh, okay. he 
come and go and stops at two minutes, isn't it? It was up for about at least three. Yeah.